uh, hi everyone uh, this is saurabh kumar uh, i am the host for the webinar today uh, i lead the qualtrix initiatives and uh, qualtrix business development globally at infosys uh, during my last two decades at infosys i have been an avid customer experience practitioner uh, and i have successfully led multiple customer engagements in the cx space uh, around uh, various sectors at infosys Uh, about Infosys, uh, it's a leading corporation that provides consulting, IT, uh, and outsourcing services to its clients globally, uh, including uh, end-to-end Qualtrics experience management services. Uh, Infosys is the part of the preferred uh, Qualtrics plat- uh, partner network uh, and a platinum SAP partner. Uh, we are working with many clients to provide next-generation experience management services utilizing Qualtrics platform. Uh, and our technical uh, and advisory expertise uh, we also have a set of services and solutions called infosys cobalt that uh, acts as a force multiplier for cloud based uh, uh, enterprise transformation initiatives uh, like uh, uh, with the qualtrix platform uh, without much ado uh, let's meet our distinguished guests uh, from qualtrix i have mike rupi uh, who's the head of customer experience management marketing Uh, Mike, uh, why don't you introduce yourself? Thank you, Sirab. Uh, great to have you be here. So, as mentioned, my name is Mike Brophy. Uh, I work for Qualtrics uh, on the customer experience product marketing team out of Seattle, Washington, in the United States. I've been with Qualtrics for over two and a half years, supporting the customer XM business as we look to scale and grow. And I also lead up our marketing efforts with SAP and our partner. marketing organization so excited to be here infosys is one of our best partners and we're really excited to bring brand new solutions to you and to your customers in 2021 and beyond thanks a lot mike uh, we also value the partnership a lot uh, from sap uh, i have francois jinan uh, he's the overall sap cx program lead for qualtrics uh, over to you francois for an introduction Thank you, Sirab. So my name is François Genon Catalo. Um, thanks for having me today. So I'm very happy to join this uh, this webinar and this discussion with Infosys. So I am the program lead for SAP Customer Experience and Qualtrics, and I work and I have been working since four years in the SAP Customer Experience product organization. My role is to coordinate the different work streams in order to make the experience management vision a reality for CX. So I work very closely with Mike Brophy and with the colleagues from the product engineering teams on the SAP and Qualtrics side. Thanks for thank you very much. Thanks a lot, uh, Francois. Uh, thanks to both of you for taking the time for this session. Uh, the topic of the webinar discussion today is uh, deliver exceptional experiences for your business stakeholders uh, with Qualtrics and SAP. Uh, I do get a message from a lot of folks that they understand the XM advances. from a b2c standpoint from a consumer standpoint but uh, 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 many say that they have a hard time to visualize how can it help their b2b stakeholders uh, so in this session we will target that we will discuss how we can utilize the qualtrix application integrated with the sap ecosystem solution to not only gauge your customers sentiments your corporate customers uh, sentiments but also optimize them and that too in a very simplified and a structured manner uh, that said let's jump straight into the discussion uh, mike starting with you uh, how important it is for an organization to understand the voice of their business customers uh, can you uh, please share your opinion into it based on your experience yeah uh, it's a great question um and as we look at what's going on in the world at the macroeconomic level Um, it's it's been more difficult than ever to actually connect directly face to face with your B two B customers, and so the where Qualtrics can actually support you is giving you a new channel and a way to communicate directly with not only your your best or your top customers or suppliers or vendors or partners, but everyone globally. And so we provide a platform that allows you in the B two B space to collect feedback from suppliers in ERP and Ariba and and field glass solutions from SAP as well as with the C4 HANA suite in terms of B2B actually sending out uh feedback and requests to your clients in a B2B sales cycle so that you can actually understand exactly how your customers and suppliers 
in the B2B space are feeling, how satisfied are they with their services, if you're delivering that premium experience, and if not, how what actions you can actually take to address those areas and improve those business outcomes to generate additional revenue growth and reduce costs. Uh, uh, thanks a lot, Mike. Mike, uh, uh, can you also provide more details on the Qualtrics products uh, for the B2B scenarios uh, for these corporate customers or the channel partners, as you mentioned? Uh, how can companies elevate the experiences for them uh, using the platform? Absolutely. Um, so I'll highlight two of our products. So they're specific to our customer experience pillar underneath the experience management umbrella. And so within experience management, there is customer experience, employee experience, product, and brand. Those are the four pillars. I work specifically on customer experience. Um, and so the products that I'd love to at least talk about today is one is our customer experience for account management product, which as I mentioned, it is very specifically targeting B2B customers that are engaging with clients in a B2B setting across a B2B sales cycle. So from learning about a B2B product to reaching out and engaging with the sales representative to hosting a customer meeting, actually purchasing, signing a PO, fulfillment, delivery, and customer support on that B2B product, whether it's a manufacturing product or it's B2B technology, we allow qual or our, our customers to really leverage our platform, connect with every single uh, customer within that B2B sales cycle, solicit feedback, and then we're able to actually integrate into their existing CRM and customer support solutions. The other product that I'd love to highlight really quickly is a new solution that we're launching with Ariba and SAP, and it's targeting supplier experience. So in a B2B supply chain experience, we are now also soliciting feedback from our suppliers to better understand how we, as the buyers, can provide better networking capabilities to them and better working relationships with our supplier organization. Uh, thanks a lot, Mike. So uh, in, in summary, uh, for all the relevant touch points that any company will have with their B2B stakeholders, we can target any of those moments be it the account management related use cases, customer center, as you mentioned, uh, uh, supplier related, or even for that matter, their digital interventions also. I agree with you. It's very informative. Uh, one more point uh, uh, here to note is Infosys is also working on an exciting B2B use case for a client of ours to improve the order to cash journey related sentiments. And this is for channel partners. Uh, 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 it is leading to a much improved channel partner loyalty and is also an example how Infosys is using uh, uh, its services and the platform for optimizing the B2B experiences. Uh, absolutely agree. Uh, Francois, uh, over to you. Uh, Mike uh, just mentioned about the various scenarios uh, of experience management for B2B customers. Uh, I have a macro question for you. Uh, SAP has many solutions, uh, C4 HANA, S4 HANA, uh, ECC, Success Factors, Ariba, uh, and a suite of solutions. Do you think that by integrating Qualtrics with SAP solutions, uh, companies can derive much better value uh, and even minimize barriers for adoption? adoption? Uh, can you share your views on it? Yeah, so it's a very good question. Thank you, thank you for asking. So, what um, from our perspective, and as Mike already explained, for B two B and as well for B two C, getting feedback and the customer experience and being able to act on it, either at an individual level or to improve the process, is really key to minimize barriers to adoption. So it's a key element. What's very interesting across SAP, as you mentioned, we have different products from ERP with S four HANA. Um, for uh, human experience management with success factors, with CRM. Mike mentioned Ariba for supplier. We don't have only the customer experience, we have as well the employee experience and the supplier experience sides, which are very interesting. And if we look at B2B, the impact of the employee experience on customer experience can be tremendous. And if you can understand where all your employees may be feeling or facing challenges, what can you do to improve it to make sure they deliver the best possible experience for your customers? We have the uh, we realize with SAP and Qualtrics, it's key to really minimize these barriers to adoption and to get more value out of it. Yeah, thanks a lot, Francois. 
and all the points you mentioned uh, uh, will enable customers customers who are on the sap ecosystem with the solutions uh, that we highlighted to become more uh, experience driven companies uh, across any processes so uh, i agree with you uh, one more follow up question with you uh, uh, on this uh, francois uh, we can connect sap with qualtrix using the open api framework of qualtrix uh, uh, it's possible now uh, is sap investing or increasing its investments in building integrations between the sap solutions uh, and qualtrix for a quicker turnaround time uh, if you share some light there that's an excellent question we are right now um leading different work streams across our product portfolio so uh, you mentioned erp we have as well some initiatives around success factors around ariba conquer customer experience to make sure that the, that these solutions work seamlessly together as you said portrix is very open already today there are this set of uh, open apis we at sap customer experience already built a lot of connectors in the last uh, year and a half now between our solutions and portrix it's accelerating and we want to make sure that we have these end to end use cases for our customers you mentioned that uh, infosys is working on the order to cash process for b2b we have on uh, on our side some broader initiatives from the lead to cash perspective between sap customer experience sap s4 hana and qualtrix to make sure that the, that these integrations are really seamless for our customers and the same happens across other end to end processes for um the solutions the sap solutions i mentioned earlier so yes it's a key focus for sap and portrix yeah thanks a lot francois uh, it also helps our audience to know that uh, the priority which sap is is having to develop these pre built integrations uh, across all these scenarios that you mentioned will be vital uh, uh, and of great interest to them uh, uh, so yes uh, thanks a lot for being with us there next is a very important question in the context to our discussion that b2b generally involves a limited set of stakeholders we have a, a large set of transactions or touch points from a limited set of people uh, how do we ensure that there is no or less feedback fatigue uh, uh, which comes from these respondents respondents because this is some question which we get uh, uh, often that how do we make sure that the customers the respondents they continue to reply uh, to these feedback requests uh, mike uh it's a great question and it's definitely difficult for some of our customers um you want to understand everything about every customer um in the b2b space especially so that you can give them the best services and the best products possible um but you don't want to continue to ask them the same questions or even different questions every single week or every time they they call you Uh, so Qualtrix has some really interesting features that allow you, as the customer, to set up automations and very specific contact lists, so you never actually ask the same person more than possibly once a quarter, once a month at the most, right? And so what we do is we call it always on, and so what we'll do is we'll set up based on our entire customer list, everyone that's a customer of us in the B two B space. If I am the customer using Qualtrix and SAP. I can actually segment my customer list into one twelfth or or one quarter at a time, and I'll only send out feedback requests at specific dates throughout the calendar year. So that solves two questions or so two issues. Number one, I'm not going to be sending the same feedback request to the same person multiple times, so we're going to limit survey fatigue. But then the other thing it solves is you now are getting feedback two hundred or three hundred and sixty five days a year. always on so you're not only surveying your customer base say once a year because if you actually do that and you only send out an annual survey by the time you actually get the results back analyze them using the Qualtrics platform and take action it's probably too late it's probably 2 3 months later when you have an always on system that is always soliciting feedback from all of your customers in very specific very automated rules um it's much easier to always have that feedback coming in so that you're finding fresh insights and and basically everything is coming in real time to make sure that you have the best insights and are able to take action in real time to make sure that your business is still innovating and staying on the front edge yeah thanks a lot mike and i think uh, 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 this is important uh, companies uh, should adhere to these automations 
uh, which are there in the Qualtrics features and these best practices that you mentioned uh, to ensure that they get the feedback from the stakeholders. Uh, Francois, uh, uh, the next question to you. Uh, uh, Qualtrics and SAP have this revolutionary idea to have a single platform used by the enterprises across all departments, uh, sales, service, marketing, supply chain, HR, and we have been discussing this, um, uh, where experience insights are shared easily. Uh, can you highlight one or two use cases where companies utilize both Qualtrics and SAP across multiple departments? And by using it across various departments, they were able to achieve much higher value than using it in just a single department. Any, any viewpoint or any example would be really uh, wonderful for us to listen. Thank you for asking. So it's a, it's a very good question. I'm going to highlight two use cases. First, I will speak of Tetra Pak. So the B2B packages manufacturer. And second, I will use our own example of SAP, so on how we use Qualtrics across our, our company. So first, we, with Tetra Pak, um, there, there are different case studies, podcasts, which, which have been done where they really highlight very well how they have connected SAP and Qualtrics together to really make experience management a reality. The business challenge they had was they couldn't access real-time feedback and react on it. And they had as well the, the challenge as a B2B company to really understand the moments that matter for their customers to really create more value. So what they realized with, with Qualtrics, connected with SAP, they had initially in their processes a KPI to make sure that when they create a new packages design, their KPI was the time it takes to create this new design. So they really focused on reducing this time to create a new design, even if it meant a lot of iterations back and forth between the, the, the customers' teams and Tetra Pak's team. What they realized with Qualtrics was actually for their customers, this, this time to create a new design wasn't the main KPI. For them, the main KPI was the number of iterations. So they really wanted to reduce the effort, the connections, the communication with Tetra Pak to facilitate the whole process. So they completely changed their operational KPIs and really improved all of their processes, got uh, an increase in annual sales, so protected more revenue, reduced their response times, connecting SAP and Qualtrics together. So I think Tetra Pak is a really good a illustration of what you can do when you connect across departments, SAP and Qualtrics to, to really create a reality with experience management. So it's one use case for, uh, for your question. The second one I want to, to highlight is for SAP itself. So SAP has 100,000 employees. Across all of our workforce, we, we are using Qualtrics to gather and to take actions for our employees. So for us as employees, we are getting feedback and we are giving feedback regularly across the organization. And our, there are actions, processes, which are cross-organization triggered to improve our experience as employees. The same happens for our partner organizations. So there are some uh, NPS actions for the partner uh, to make sure that we can improve our partner expense. So uh, you as Infosys certainly are receiving some Qualtrics surveys to really give us feedback on what do you like, what do you want to improve in the collaboration with SAP and SAP is taking action out of that across our companies to improve the partner satisfaction and uh, very important for us, the customer satisfaction. So the same happens for customers where we want to understand uh, the satisfaction of our customers. What can we do to improve and to take actions holistically from our product solutions, our roadmaps, our uh, customer service organization, our sales teams to make sure we really improve our customer satisfaction. So all of this experience management program at SAP is really strategic and it's enabled by SAP and Qualtrics solutions. Uh, thanks, Fra Francois. This is pretty exciting. Uh, uh, both the use cases, the Tropac and the SAP one. Uh, for SAP, you mentioned about using it for the internal employees, uh, uh, and also for uh, 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 getting the sentiments and the experiences of your customers. And uh, you are correct. Uh, we have also replied accordingly uh, to the Qualtrics-based feedback, both on the product services and and also some of the issues that we get. So. Uh, uh, wonderful and and if you use these uh, uh, scenarios for an enterprise it helps in removing uh, various data silos uh, uh, so definitely that helps uh, the enterprises in a big way a follow-up question to that uh, building on to that question are there any specific industry verticals where you see uh, experience management well adopted and more successful than others uh, uh, as per your opinion uh, Francois? Hmm. 
Thank you for, for asking. So what's really exciting is experience management is not focused on one specific industry. So we have seen some industries where it works very well, like uh, retail, consumer products, travel, <laughs> and um, we have mentioned some elements like the B2B examples for uh, Tetra Pak or for, for SAP. So manufacturing is a, is a very important vertical. Uh, it might not sound obvious at the beginning, but what Mike explained with all of the features around uh, getting the feedback from B2B customers, it's really key and it's a very nice combination between SAP and Qualtrics. We have as well a few uh, customers really getting a lot of value out of healthcare. So if you think of uh, companies selling to pharmacies, they can combine some elements around B2B commerce, getting feedback from their pharmacies uh, and uh, really improving the whole process. So we have one example with Sigma Healthcare. So there are already a lot of industries where there is a lot of potential for XM. It's probably what you see as well as um, as a partner on your side in all of your, your customer discussions. So there is a lot of traction uh, around B2B and B2C industries. Uh, thanks, Francois. Uh, and I think you're correct. We are also seeing traction in all the industries you mentioned. Uh, but in summary, overall, uh, uh, I agree with you that XM is relevant across all sectors. Mike, uh, uh, one last question to you. Uh, we get this question also many times. Uh, uh, there is a certain misconception that Qualtrics is mainly about service. Uh, can you help us quash this myth by letting us know more ways by which we can approach our corporate stakeholders and partners uh, uh, and take a, uh, take across the offering to them in a much more meaningful manner. Absolutely. Um, I love this question and I've heard it more than once. Um, and, and Qualtrics has a very rich history of providing market research through specifically surveys. Um, but as we've grown as a company, as we've been acquired by SAP, as we continue to support the enterprise, uh, we've added an entirely new set of tools to our platform. So yes, we absolutely have a world-class survey editor tool. You can solicit feedback across multiple channels from anyone in the entire world for any use case that you could ever think of across any industry. It's incredibly flexible, it's easy to use, it's easy to set up. But after you actually get the feedback, and hopefully it's been clear in some of my other answers, that's where the fun begins, right? If, if you enjoy data analytics like myself, you're really trying to understand what is the data telling you? And whether it's transactional operational data that's being supplied by S4 HANA or C4 HANA systems or, or success factors, that can become very powerful when you add the, the customer's voice on top of that. So you're not only understanding what's going on, how much they paid, when they paid, right, what products they paid for, but you're also understanding how do they actually feel about the process, how easy was it to do business with you as the supplier of those products, and then when you actually combine those two, experience data plus operational data, it opens up an entirely new opportunity to really analyze that data using very powerful AI and machine-based learning and tools. And so we analyze all of this data from every single customer globally. So thousands, if not millions of customers can provide feedback to us. We can analyze it using text analytics tools, statistical analyses, predictive models, and then once you've seen the analysis, you've surfaced those insights and we've driven into the root cause of what's causing something to either go very well with our, pro our business or very poorly, then it's taking action. So Qualtrics and experience management, the ROI is not there, the value is not there unless you actually do something with the data. Everyone's got data, but until you actually do something with it, and so Qualtrics has been very intentional about the features and the innovations that we bring to market to really make it easier for all of our customers to take action once they understand the problem. Once you have to understand the problem, you've seen the analysis, now you can take action. You can do case management. You can close the, tip, close the loop directly with every single customer, not just a sample or not only your top spending customers, but every customer that has an issue. You can support the customer support and contact center part of your organization to pivot them from being a cost center to actually driving customer experience and satisfaction and it continuing to provide to generate customer loyalty. So all of these other really great things about supporting and growing a business are opened up by the fact that we have built these very, uh, very high powered tools that just come into play after the data is solicited and, and, and gathered. So yes, we absolutely have a survey tool. 
but that's just one very small tool in our much larger toolkit that is going to absolutely help us integrate with SAP and other solutions across the entire business because we like to think that experience management is ubiquitous enough and it connects to all parts of the business in the same way that ERP impacts and connects to all parts of the business as well. Sure. Uh, extremely valuable there, Mike. Uh, uh, I I hear you completely here. It's the entire package of experience management with Qualtrics uh, uh, that is invaluable to the enterprise. Uh, uh, and that's the secret sauce uh, to drastically improve the experience of their human stakeholders. It's the entire package of not only listening to them across various channels, uh, almost all channels possible, but also analyzing it and also having the capability to take actions on it uh, uh, real on a real-time basis and also strategically. All these combined together with the ability to integrate with your entire IT, IT ecosystem. Combined together, all these things uh, is, the, uh, uh, is the value that we provide to the enterprises uh, to elevate uh, their experiences. Uh, 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 really insightful. Uh, with that, uh, uh, I thank you, Mike and Francois, for helping us understand how Qualtrics can be a potent solution. Uh, uh, to gain a growth, greater control over your customer experiences. Uh, one message to the audience, uh, uh, if you are unsure about the value that XM brings, uh, we also offer a free assessment wherein we will understand your pain points and assess your current state. We will uh, present how XM can help your organization, which uh, uh, solution will fit your need from the entire set of tools as uh, Mike also mentioned and what will be the potential savings. Uh, uh, so do let us know uh, uh, if you have any query with respect to that. And uh, Infosys has deeply invested uh, uh, in the experience management space. And uh, we are working with our clients to bring a positive change in the experiences of their customers. Uh, please feel free to reach out to us in case of any questions. Uh, with that, uh, I, I thank you, Mike and Francois again. Hope you found the insights from the webinar very useful and uh, thank you everyone for listening. Uh, thank you.